right guys, so we're all loaded up. I uh, got the Jeep on the trailer. Uh, you can show them the, the Jeep through the window. Um, we're heading to Roush Creek Off-Road Park now. We have a pretty big group um, going, probably about five off-road vehicles. Uh, it's gonna be a good time, especially seeing what this thing can do. Totally stock with, the, I think all blown shocks, maybe the front, I know the front right one's blown. They're all junk Monroe ones anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, we got an hour and a half ride. And we're gonna head there, man. We're gonna have a good time. Let's do it. I'm lost in the city, still so far from home. I've searched for you all my life. All right, guys, we're just pulling in. I'm just looking for my group now. And uh, yeah, we'll get unloaded and get going here. Alright guys, so here's our whole group here. We got a bunch of different rigs and then an F-150 uh, 4Runner and uh, we're going to lead with this thing. It's got ball tires, blown shocks, uh, I haven't driven it for more than a half a mile. And again, we're at Rouse Creek Off-Road Park, really nice here. Alright guys, so I am going to include some footage inside the Jeep as you can see, but I'm mainly going to give you guys all of the good stuff and that is outside of the Jeep. So the first obstacle you'll see me pulling up to is a very steep, smooth rock. Uh, the video doesn't do it justice, but it was very steep. Next up here, we just have another pretty steep hill. Again, the camera doesn't do it justice from this angle, but I just wanted to see how the Jeep crawled with the ball tires going up a dirt hill. All right guys, here I'm pulling out to a very washed out trail. Uh, you could really see the Jeep flexing here and those blown shocks don't help at all as well as having open differentials. It's very important to take a good line here. My line probably could have been better. Those ball tires weren't gripping much, but we get through it. Alright guys, so this is where the fun begins now. I'm going to include this clip of this F-150 pulling into this mud puddle. It is a lifted F-150 uh, in four-wheel drive with bigger oversized tires. And you better believe I'm going to take my Jeep through that after this F-150. Yep, keep it that way. There we 
There we go. There you go. Jeep really did impress me on that deep mud puddle. I'm really happy that the engine didn't drink too much water. But here I'm pulling up to another washout. Uh, I took a better line at this one and we did successfully get through it on three wheels, but that's normal for the, the flex that this, this washout caused. And low it's fine, but all right guys, I think I might've drank a little water, but we're gonna open up the air box and see. Oh yeah, yeah. she not look good. She don't look bad. The box is dry though. Yeah. 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 Looks fine to me. So we'll keep rolling. When, when I'm in too high, like the regular gear, it, the, the trans doesn't downshift and go. It feels like sluggish. So I don't know if maybe the tranny was overheating or something. I'm not totally positive, but we'll be all right. We're good. Prior to even coming off-roading, my exhaust was already really rusty and hanging low, and it actually dropped at this point, so we just hammered it right off, and as you can see, my brother's holding it here while we're walking up. Here you'll see me pulling up to a mud puddle. I didn't think it was very deep, but that's what always happens, and you probably know what happens next. Just left Roush Creek, uh, had an absolute blast. Jeep got 
pretty beat up. Nothing broke though. The only thing we lost was that old rusty muffler, so it's pretty loud right now. Um, man, it really surprised me, I'm not gonna lie. It goes to show you how little money you need just to have a good time, and I mean, it was an absolute blast. Uh, now it's time to get down and dirty with this thing, man. I didn't want to start upgrading it until we took it off-road, and now that we did that, let's hit it, man. It's gonna be a good time. Thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate all the love and support. You guys are awesome, been growing pretty quick, which is great. We'll see y'all in the next video.